Hi, it's Dorothy from Bear Tree Soap, and uh, making some soap today. It's a cold, wintry day. The furnace is blowing, blowing and going to keep the house warm. Uh, making a uh, a soap. We're using the fragrance Mountain Lake from Peak, and uh, I'm just ready to put my lye into my tallow here. I use the heat transfer method, and so I have my uh, my tallow in here, and I'm going to put my lye in here to melt my tallow. So I'm just ready to do that right now. And inside my lye, of course, is my, my lye water is my um, silk and my sodium lactate. Making a 44 ounce loaf mold here, which is usually the size I do. That gives me about 11 bars. I cut my bars uh, about one and an eighth thick, so just, just over an inch thick. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you here how, how far I am with this. I just give this a little bit of a stir, and then the heat of the lye is going to take care of melting the rest of this. Now, I have in my other pot, I master batch the rest of my oils, so all the rest of my oils are in here. This includes my coconut oil, which I melt when I make my master batch, and so this is my olive oil, my coconut oil, sunflower, uh, castor, everything that goes in here. And I have that master batched. I just pull out the amount of the liquid oils that I need in my recipe. And uh, then I take out the part that is the tallow, which is this part here. Together that makes my 44 ounces for my recipe. Now this is only going to take a few minutes to, maybe maybe 10 minutes or so, sometimes a little bit longer, to melt. Uh, so I'm going to just bring you back once this has melted. Okay. We're ready to uh, put the, the rest of the oils together. As you can see, the lye has melted the tallow very nicely, and it's about, um, oh, about four minutes has passed. So this one actually went really quick. I'm not sure why sometimes it goes faster than other times. It's not that it's a, a warm day today by any stretch. Um, sometimes it does take longer. And uh, so anyway, and you'll see that it is a little bit thick because the lye is in there. And uh, that's okay. When we add the rest of the oils, it's all going to come out just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Add that into there. Scrape that out. Give it every last little bit. Okay, that looks good. And just give that a quick stir here. I also have almond milk and my kale and clay, which is going to go in here as soon as I've got these just a little bit together. I don't have a mute on my camera, so just pardon the stick blender here. going to go ahead and add the uh, almond milk and the kale and clay. I'm just going to give it a quick little buzz with my mini frother here because it's been sitting here for a while. That's my almond milk, kale and clay. Okay. And this is actually thickening up already. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, fragrance in, and that is the uh, Mountain Lake fragrance from Peak. I like their fragrances. I find they hold up really well in the soap, and hardly ever do I get one that I don't like. Okay, I'm going to give that a quick stir. <laughs> Sometimes I wish they would just make the cord on the stick blender a little shorter. I don't need the cord quite this long. It tends to want to get in the way. Anyway, I am uh, going to be using six colors. I'm going to move them in here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pour them here real quick because I don't want this to get too thick on me. So the first one is a, get this out of the way. 
first one is about, and I always take these little pieces of paper and I just write down the amounts on there that I want. This is going to be about half a cup. In that one. And a quarter cup in this one. There we go. And this is going to be a cup. And this one is going to be a half a cup. And this one is going to be about one and a quarter cups. And I actually put a little blue piece of tape on there because the um, the numbers and stuff have about worn off of the edge of the uh, plot of the measuring cup. So I just put a blue piece of tape there so I see where it is. Oh, need a little bit more. Okay. And then the last is going to be is going to be this blue, which is going in here. We're good. Okay, now, how fast can we stir everything? That's the question. Get my mold. I went and whipped my paper, so I had to kind of tape it. Okay, hope you can see here. I'm going to go down with all of the green. Boom. There we go. One done. Then I'm going to put this in to swirl it. It's a happy day. I'm getting over the end of my cold. I have still a little bit left, but didn't drag on for too long. I kind of nipped it in the bud as best I could. First cold I've had in a long time. There we go. Nothing too fancy there. Get those two. Okay, now we're going with a little bit of this. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna get down to the, I'm gonna get down to the side. My sides come off, and I have, to, I have to share a little secret here. My sides come off on my mold. I just pull them up. My hubby makes my mold. Well, you all know it's about impossible to wait to see what it's looking like, right? So I usually, after it's been in the mold for a little while, when it's firm enough that I can kind of do this, I pull the end of the mold off here. I just lift this up and pull this up, and then that kind of gives me an idea of what's going on. Well, a lot of times I haven't put my stuff right to the end, so it's not really a true indication of what's going on, and I don't get to see all the colors like I would like to. So I'm trying, because of my own curiosity, trying to get to the, to the ends. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I do. Patience is not the soaper's best friend, I know. Okay. I wanted all of that down. As I slurps it all over the place. I'm going to just do a quick... You all know I'm not the neatest soaper in the world. There we go. I cut the ends off anyway. I don't, you know, um, the bar. So when I cut them, I, I don't cut them right to the end. I don't think anybody does, but... Um, okay. Just for peeking, I like to see.
Okay, I'll go back to this one. Okay, I hope you can see. I am just basically spooning this. I'm not really spooning this so it goes through. I'm not breaking down into the layers. That's why I'm not I'm not dropping it from high up. I'm just kind of keeping it more or less on the top here. I'm just going to alternate these two. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay. And now we go in with all the blue. This is a little bit darker blue than I maybe should have done. Um, I don't really want to have that push through on the other, so I'm going to pour it over a spoon. I'm doing here trying to trying to keep this in the view of the can camera unfortunately I don't have a good angle of where I can put the camera so I'm doing this kind of with blindly here Kind of thick by now, but really, I mean, it did it did give me plenty of time to play. So I would say that this fragrance does not accelerate trace. At least today it didn't. I don't know. We okay. My camera just died, the battery. So I had to go get a uh, new battery real quick. So let me get my gloves back on. Uh, as I was saying, we, we often talk about fra uh, misbehaving or bad fragrances. I'm not so sure about that. I have fragrances that I have used multiple times, and one time they may have seized like the dickens on me and been just awful, but I've gone ahead and tried them again, and they have behaved just beautifully. So I'm not sure we're always right to deem a fragrance bad just from the first time using it. Because sometimes I think there's just other variables that come into play. Anyway, woo, I didn't want that. Well, yeah, I'm going to. Okay, so we're going to spoon this, swirl this. And I'm not really going down all the way to the bottom. I don't want to get into that, remember that first layer that I did that had the green and the deeper colors? Well, I don't really want to go into that layer, so I'm trying to be careful not to touch down to the bottom. Okay, I'm going to just turn this and go once like this. Call that good. Um, let's see, where's my my little spoon? Where's my little spoons. Since it is water, I'm kind of just gonna peek it up, and it is 
firm enough that I can do that, or thick enough, I should say. I think we're good. I think we're very good. All right. Oh, I wanted to show you the spoons real quick. Here they are. These are the little spoons I was telling you about. A uh, pinch, a dash, a nip, which is this really tiny little one, and a smidgen. So those are great. If you see these anywhere, they're just awesome for uh, measuring my little when I'm blending different powders of colors and stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will bring you back uh, for the cut. And I'm uh, just going to clean this up here a little bit. I'm going to stick this soap in the freezer. I'm not going to let this one gel. And uh, I'll let you see it when it's uh, back up and ready to cut. Thank you. Take care.